In July and August 2022, I solo travelled for a month from West to East Canada. I saw views, I ate amazing food, and I made the best friends. I am honoured to take you with me on my travels. Hello, my name is Megan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Megan Chan Vlogs, where I talk about fitness, travel, and dogs. Today, I've started a tour with the Moose Network called the Caribou Tour that is going around the Rockies in Canada. We started off the tour this morning and we were meant to go to the Bridal Veils waterfall, but it was closed because there's a police alert there because um, they're looking for a murderer, which is a little bit awkward. So we didn't go there but we went to a place called Hope where we picked up some snacks and now we've come to a lake which is absolutely beautiful. We've just had a lunch by it and for these tiny, tiny squirrels here, like tiny squirrels who were after our food but we weren't allowed to feed them. But yeah, it is, this lake is beautiful. Every day of traveling on the Moose Tour gave beautiful views over lakes, over mountains, and this is just the start of them. So we're at Skaha Lake here. I'm just gonna do a voiceover because my GoPro's microphone is not working. So this is me showing my rash vest so that I don't get burnt like I did in Bali. I'm explaining that I've never done stand-up paddle boarding before, but that I'm looking forward to it. This is me kneeling down on the paddle board and then you sort of like stabilise yourself and move into a standing up position. This is what I'm trying to do here. Okay, she's up, she's up. And then I paddled away, the tide carried me a little bit, but we had a good time, we had a good time and these were the views that we had. We then went into the water afterwards because we were doing the stand-up paddle boarding in two groups and it was actually really nice and warm. We've arrived in a place called Kelowna that is the first night stop that we have so we're staying in the same sun in Kelowna. I had a bit of a mare with my food so we got food like these taco bowl things from a really nice looking place like as part of like an included meal thing and then took them back to the hostel to eat but then even though I was like oh yeah I want obviously want dairy free there was cheese and sour cream on mine so I was like I can't eat this there's so many cute dogs because we've got like two and a half, half hours on the bus like just tomorrow morning like not even in the afternoon so I was like I just can't pal if I'm honest but the tour guide Bruno absolute legend I was like Bruno I just I'm, I, can't, I can't eat this I can't eat this if I'm honest there was like fried bread with it which I could eat one of the girls gave me some of her bread like a lovely but um, I just went to get something from the supermarket like that the company paid for because it was meant to be an included meal so I got little sushi rolls so I'm at like a really nice park now by the lake and they've got cute dogs here as well there's meant to be a really nice sunset here but I missed it because of the going to the supermarket but we're coming back to Kelowna later in the tour I think and yeah that's the update there's three irish girls who have let me sleep in their room which was nice and one of them wants to take the top bunk which is always bonus so yeah liking the tour so far stand-up paddleboard was amazing by the way absolutely knackered now but it was good it is day two on the moose network tour today so we're up early and we're going to banff today so we've got quite a bit of driving but we're going to a lake on the way some guys are doing kayaking but i'm just gonna sit and read my book on the shores and maybe go for a little swim. It's like a lovely and sunny again today. We're on our way to a lake called Rivelstoke Lake, something like that. And we're making like pit stops along the way because it's quite a long drive. And the one that we're at at the moment is called The Last Spike. So where they were building the railway that went all across Canada. The last bit was between Vancouver and Calgary and here was where they like put down the the like the last nail in in the railway. So yeah that's why it's called the last spike. So I think we're changing here like into swim stuff for the lake but oh my goodness there's a little dog. It's a tiny dog. My bikini is still damp from yesterday, so I'm just going to change when we get to the lake and find like a tree to hide behind. And yeah, there's like, oh, there's like a train you can climb on here as well. 
This train goes across Canada, so it takes like four days to get across Canada on a train, which is just blows my mind. And we got to see the train going, so it had some cargo carriages and it also had some passenger carriages on as well, and the passengers all waved at us as they went past. We are currently at another lake. I can't remember what the name of the lake is, but it's beautiful. We've had lunch here. We've had a little dip in the lake as well because it's warm. I thought it'd be cooler up in the mountains, but it's just not, you know. But the lake here is beautiful. There's like little fish in the lake as well. We've been chilling up there. I've been reading some of my book. I'm actually reading my book, can I just say. Hopefully by the time I'm editing this, I will have finished it, but it's very good. It's the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo enjoying it greatly but the views at all these lakes are just incredible we've got to our next destination so we're in Banff which is like I'm pretty sure it's in the Rockies are we in the Rockies by now there's lots of mountains and the hostel that we're staying in is like it's I think it's called like Hosteling International Alpine Banff or something like that but basically the view from like where we're having dinner is amazing like you can see mountains you can just like smell like pine trees and then like the view is like what you'd imagine to be like a cute little ski village or like what you'd make a gingerbread house out of at Christmas. So we've ordered food, it's not included on the tour but it's like subsidised because we're with Moose Network so hopefully I've got a nice big burger coming. It's day three on the Moose tour. I have not had enough sleep because the clocks went forward, we crossed over a time zone. I've come outside for breakfast, it's where we had dinner last night. It is so nice out here. Yeah, it's just like so fresh. It smells like when you go camping, when you're abroad. We're seeing lakes today. We've come to our first stop off out of the day. Oh, there's something on the lens. We've come to our first stop off of the day, which is by lake. As you can see the lake. And in the background, that is called Castle Mountain. So we've stopped here to take some photos next to the busy road, which you can hear. But the views over there are beautiful. Our second stop of the day is at Canyon, called Johnston Canyon. So apparently we're going for a little walk. It's like an hour round trip walk, mostly in the shade, but I'm excited to get some steps in because there's been like quite a lot of sitting on the bus. So I'm ready for this. This was our little hike up as a moose group. So we walked through the trees and through the forest areas to this beautiful river and also then on to a waterfall area. We've made another stop. This time we're at Moraine Lake. It is absolutely beautiful here. We were meant to stop at Lake Louise first, but there was no parking. So we've come here and it is so blue and it's just, it's just like the photos, you know? Can we please just admire how beautifully blue this lake is? Honestly, it's just incredible. We've managed to find a parking space now, so we're gonna go and see Lake Louise. I'm excited, it is blue. Okay, this lake is busier than Moraine, but it's just so beautiful. Like it's blue, like proper, like my nails blue. And oh, it's just beautiful. So, just walking around Lake Louise, and like I knew that I liked a lake. I believe in love a lake, but I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Like the shimmering sun on the blue lake, the mountains in the background that have still got a bit of snow on. Gentle breeze is also beautiful because it's warm. It's just, I can't, it's just so beautiful. We've made another pit stop. We've come to another lake. This one's called Bow Lake. And there it is. And then between the two mountains there is a glacier that like feeds into the lake, which is like why it's so fresh. Like the air coming off the lake when we got off the bus is just like so refreshing. It's so lovely. We just made our last stop off of the day before we get to the hostel in Rampart Creek. So we've come to a place where we're gonna do like a little bit of a hike up a hill to get to see views over. It's 
called Peito Lake in the background. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. Still very sunny. Put my Garmin on because if it's not on Strava, it didn't happen. It's not on Strava. It didn't happen. Nope. We've come to our accommodation for the night and it's called Rampart Creek and it's a wilderness hostel in the middle of nowhere. We literally saw a bear like two minutes down the road before we came to the hostel. So we're not allowed any food outside in case the bears come. We're making a group dinner there. So we're having like vegetables, spaghetti, something. I have a new book. Aww. So this is from the library in the little hut because I actually finished Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo yesterday. So this is off grid. There are solar panels there to get some electricity and some light, but there's no Wi-Fi, obviously. There's no showers, there's water, but yeah, it's very, very peaceful. And apparently there's a hike up to somewhere to watch the sunset. A few moments later. So after dinner, we've climbed to the top of like some mountain thing near the uh, youth hostel. And it was a bit of a scramble. I'm slightly concerned because we need to get back down. There's, there's like trees with like bear claws on them. So I'm hoping the bear doesn't find us because I can't move quickly down here. The view is really nice, but that down there is the youth hostel. I don't really know how we're going to get there, but um, so that's the situation. Beautiful sunset though. Hi, this is Editing Megan popping in. Yes, I'm in my pyjamas after I showered after park run. Not relevant. Anyway, the Rockies vlog was actually too long to be one vlog, so I've split it into two. So we will end here and then pick it up next week.